Today we're making mocha syrup. Come on in, welcome to my home. I love mocha. I love mocha. I didn't think I did at first, but I love this, and this is a really cool syrup because it's based off of a syrup that I've made before. If you want to learn how to make dark chocolate syrup, go ahead and click that eye in the sky, it'll teach you how. But you know I love everything chocolate. Chocolate is my favorite thing. Mix chocolate and peanut butter together, I'm in heaven. But this is really cool. And it is using black chocolate. Now, do you have to have black chocolate? No. If you're interested in getting black chocolate, I do have an Amazon link down, down, down below in the description. And it is really cool. Now, if this is your first time here, remember to subscribe. Every Tuesday is a recipe. I love making these recipes. This one's really cool. And also remember that the uh, amounts, the ingredients, are also listed down below in the description. And they're going to show up on your screen. But we are going to start off with our black chocolate. And like I said, you don't have to have black chocolate, but you can also, you could use regular chocolate. But I'm going to go ahead and put this into my uh, bread maker because my bread maker can make Jam! Yes! This is the greatest bread maker ever. No endorsement, no product, no placement or anything. I love this bread maker. I talk about it all the time, but this thing can make jam. So this means it can make chocolate syrup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dump that in here. There we go. Then, normally this is going to take like a ton of sugar. Because the sugar is quite a bit, so I cut it down. I have my sugar. And I'm using stevia. Now, if you do not want to use stevia or you don't like stevia, go ahead and double the amount of sugar. All right, now the fun part. We are going to use our, our uh, coffee. We're just going to pour that in there. I like to do some of this pre-mixing simply because it helps, it helps the mixture so much better. Now, I'm going to take my mixture, place it into my bread maker, and then place it on the jam setting and let it do its work. I don't have to do anything. I just sit back, relax, and let it go through the entire cycle. All right, our mocha syrup is out of the bread maker and it is great and it is still hot. Now, if you are using canning jars, you can pour hot things into canning jars. If you are not, you need to wait until it cools down quite a bit. I am using a canning jar and probably a funnel that will melt, we'll see. But we'll pour this in there. Once this has sort of cooled down quite a bit, you can go ahead and put in vanilla. Now what I'm going to do instead of actually, you know, stirring it, I'm just going to shake it. Now that it is shaken, remember this is syrup and it will stain. I've already got a stain on me, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste. Wow. Um, the coffee is very present, the chocolate, it really is a mocha dark chocolate syrup. That one is amazing. I wasn't sure how well I would like that because um, of the coffee and everything, but wow, this is really worth it. So good, very strong, you will not need that whole, you will not need a much of it to give you that chocolate mocha taste. But that is so good, so great. Now, if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you, and I hope I get to see you again next time.